Hey, what's going on everybody? David here and I'm back with another collection video. Today's video is going to be for my 4K Ultra HD collection. Uh, 4K is a format that not a lot of people have jumped on board uh, with just yet and that's completely understandable because um, nobody wants another HD DVD debacle, do they? <laughs> so I, I, I get it. I totally get it. Um, I really wasn't on board with it, uh, you know, completely at first either. But I started thinking, I was like, well, you know what? If this does become, you know, a thing, um, I want to at least start building up my 4K, uh, 4K library. And this was even before I had a 4K TV or anything like that. Uh, just because I was like, well, you know, the majority of the titles do come with a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc as well. So that way, if it did go away, then at least I did still have a, um, you know, a Blu-ray uh, within the the release to to watch. So um, I started doing that and. Um, Okay, and I will say right now, this format isn't perfect. It's not. Um, there are certain studios out there that um, totally take advantage of the 4K transfers. Uh, there's other studios that just don't hit the nail on the head, um, and it just it just fails. Like you know, it just doesn't look right anyway. Um, and um, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things where I feel like right now they're still just kind of trying to figure out how to do this properly. Um, and it kind of sucks, but whenever they do it right, it looks fantastic and it looks amazing. Um, so we're going to take a look at some of these titles here today. Um, I don't have a full 4K, uh, 4K Ultra HD collection collection, like, you know, library. Uh, I know that they, they, they've released probably probably about upwards of about 200 titles so far. Um, I'm nowhere near that. But I do have a pretty good amount right here. Um, I'm putting them all together. I was a little, again, surprised, uh, you know, looking at, at how many I had. But uh, we're going to look at what I have today. And, um, you know, if it is something, uh, if it is a special title or, or special to me in any way, then I'll kind of go in depth. For the most part, it's just going to be, you know, one by one real quick. Um, first up. We have the Huntsman Winter's War. So you can see here, this one does have the 4K Ultra HD uh, Blu-ray and the digital copy. Um, and it, this one is done by Universal. Universal, uh, this is kind of when they first started, I guess, doing the, the 4K releases. Um, as you can see here, it has like this really nice, like shiny, you know, cover art here. And it, the, the edges are rounded. You see here, it has like a, I don't know if you can see that there's like a i guess like a, a a face i don't want to say a face plate but it's just you know you can peel this off and it's probably just black underneath uh they started doing that and i was i was actually really impressed uh because they they took the the time to to make it look at all look at looking all fancy and shiny and stuff so that was kind of cool um next up is ghostbusters answer the call this is an all right movie you know what i mean i i didn't hate it i'll say that this one does have the 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray 3D, and Blu-ray copy with the digital as well. Um, releases like this I love because it's, again, they're giving you everything right here in one package. I don't mind spending that little little extra bit, as I've stated before, um, for, for a release that has everything. You know, so that's pretty cool. Um, you like that? All right. Let's see here. Next up, Sing. Love this movie. Um, I didn't... I didn't no, when I saw the trailer, I didn't think I was going to like it at all. I, I went to the theater, saw it, um, and I absolutely loved it. Looks great on 4K. Animated films look fantastic on 4K for the most part. Um, there is one, though, is a, The Secret Life of Pets. Again, as you can see, it has, does have the rounded edges. This one is by Universal as well, the shiny little you know, cover here. Um, this one... I thought it was going to look really, really fantastic. It looks great. Uh, don't get me wrong. But, it and, and this is a constant thing that, that I've seen with a lot of 4K titles, uh, that it looks fairly similar to a Blu-ray. You know what I mean? Um, if you look at them side by side, there's not a whole much, you know, whole bunch of, uh, of, of a difference. Uh, so you're going to find that a lot as well. You have to, like, have a really sharp eye to really, like, you know tell on in certain titles anyway um the differences but uh good movie really fun movie all right next up smurfs the lost village or as i like to call it uh trolls 2 
Because <laughs> it was basically a Trolls movie. Um, this one looked pretty neat in, in 4K. I, th I thought it looked good. This is a Sony Pictures one. I thought they, they did uh, the 4K transfer very well. Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Uh, decent movie. Looks really nice in 4K, though. You know, all the action and all that stuff. Looks fantastic. Alien Covenant. Love this in 4K. I think it looks awesome in 4K. Um, and the one thing about 4K, like this movie uh, specifically, it's very dark. Uh, with 4K, you can, even in the darkest, you know, of scenes, you can see details. You know, the, the, the black levels look really nice. Um, and that, that's one thing that I'm really impressed about with 4K. So, great movie. Transformers, The Last Night. Uh, <laughs> not my favorite movie. Um, uh, not bad, but not, uh, I'm not a huge Transformers, uh, movie fan. Uh, but looked really nice in 4K. And, mind you, um, my biggest, uh, thing that I have with the Transformers films is that everything looks so jumbled up half the times whenever, the, whenever, uh, Autobots and Decepticons, you know, fight and stuff like that. Um, you can actually, you know, differentiate, uh, you know, so, some of the, the Transformers. So that's really good. It looks really, really nice in 4K. X-Men Apocalypse. Really, really good movie. And, uh, well, I say really, really good movie. Really, really good movie in 4K. That's what I meant to say. Um, but, uh, pretty good, uh, X-Men movie. I feel like they dropped the ball with Apocalypse himself, but... Starship Troopers. I just saw this one in 4K. I think they did it. Uh, a very, very good uh, transfer of this one to 4K. Um, one of my favorite movies, Starship Troopers. The only good bug is a dead bug. Awesome. All right. Resident Evil Vendetta looks phenomenal in 4K. I love this movie. Um, I've, I've, like I've said, said before, I feel like this is what the Resident Evil movie should have been. Um, looks great in 4K. Horror movies are, are pretty fun in 4K. Uh, Wonder Woman. I thought this one looks great in 4K too. Uh, not a fan of the, the cover art per se, but really good 4K title. Patriot's Day. Um, I, you know what, I had a, I had trouble, um, really being able to tell, you know, between the standard Blu-ray and, and 4K. I watched uh, I watched it in 4K first, and I mean it looks impressive. It looks very clear. The clarity and colors and stuff look vibrant. Um, when I popped in the Blu-ray, I saw about half of the Blu-ray uh, version, and I honestly I really couldn't see too much of a difference. But good movie. All right, the girl on the train. This was a, this movie actually really surprised me. Great movie. Um, this is a movie that I, I don't know. I, I didn't see the reason reasoning to to have it in 4K. Um, it's just a, a standard like drama movie. Usually, you know, 4K titles, you're you're expecting something uh, kind of spectacular, uh, a lot of effects, things like that, or an animated feature. Um, this one, I mean, it just it, it was fine. It was, it was a fine movie. Um, just I, I didn't see the need for it to be uh, released on 4K. Uh, Logan, you can see here, great movie in 4K. Alien Covenant, this is a steel book, this is a 4K as well. All right. Unforgiven. This one, uh, and okay, I, I talk, <laughs> I talk crap about The Girl on the Train just being like a, a just a standard drama movie. Um, it's, this, this is just a, your standard Western, but it looks fantastic in 4k um i thought they 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 did uh, the conversion very well the transfer very well um love this movie just all together clint eastwood is the man the smurfs look good in 4k you know i mean it looked all right i'm i'm not a fan of the, of the smurfs just because they, they started doing the the uh whole half uh, live action half you know animated not a fan of that uh, that other Smurfs of Lost Village, completely animated, loved it more so than that Smurfs. The Mechanic Resurrection. Pretty good. Jason Statham movie. 310 to Yuma. You see, uh, they, they started releasing some older older movies on uh, on 4K. This one looked nice. Like I said, uh, you know, 
I will talk smack about just, you know, uh, that girl on the train being just a standard, you know, drama. This is, this is a Western. Look really good. La La Land. Again, another drama. <laughs> but this is a musical drama. I love this movie. I love this movie <laughs> so much. And, and all the dancing and all that stuff look fantastic in the format. Power Rangers. Saban's Power Rangers. This one looked really good. And it's surprisingly a really good movie. Ex Machina. Looked nice in 4K. I loved it. And the movie's excellent as well. Ghost in the Shell. This one was uh, was very uh, very nice looking. Uh, you know, it, it, the the scenes within the city, things like that, bright lights and and all that stuff. A lot of it was dark as well, but um, that was the the really the, the part that impressed me. You know, the the special effects that they had in there looked really nice. Um, you know, black levels were really good as well. You could see, you know, a lot of the a lot of the details in the background and things like that when it's, you know, when the scene is pretty much, you know, completely dark. So that was really impressive. Kong Skull Island in 4K. And this one has 4K, Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, and digital copy. Good movie. Looks really good in 4K. Another Wonder Woman. Again, looks really nice. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This one, 4K, uh, 4K Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray, digital copy. This is... Uh, as far as I know, the only way here in America, anyway, that you can get the Blu-ray 3D copy of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two looks fantastic. I this this movie was meant to be in 4K, uh, be presented in 4K. Uh, you know, just the the effects that they use, the colors, uh, just everything was amazing, astounding. James Gunn was totally awesome for pushing uh, Disney to release. This in in a uh, 4K, really good. Lego Batman movie looks really good in 4K as well. Those are always fun. Batman and Harley Quinn. Uh, this is uh, the the first DC animated film in 4K. Look really good. You know, look really sharp. Warcraft. Mm, I really wasn't a huge fan of this, and um, it lo it looked good in 4K. It wasn't the the best. It wasn't to me. It wasn't the best anyway. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This one looked nice in 4K. Um, you know, you have, uh, you know, the creatures and stuff, you know, in and out of the scenes, flying through the air and things like that. Le that looked really nice in this format. The Shallows. Um, this was actually really surprising and impressive. It does have this cool lenticular cover there. And this is kind of like when they, they first started releasing 4Ks. Um, and... Uh, yeah, I, I think it looked cool. Just for it being like a, a standard, you know, like a beach type of scenario. Um, you can see a lot of detail in the water and things like that. And the, and the rocks that they had there in the, in the movie. Um, that was pretty impressive. Uh, Fifty Shades Darker. That's it. <laughs> Star Trek Beyond. This one looked really good. I'm a big, big Trekkie. Uh, I love Star Trek. And uh, yeah, this looked really good in 4K. Sausage Party. <laughs> this one, this one was one of those movies that it was funny, and I didn't want to admit how funny it was <laughs> initially, um, but because I, I'm 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 uh, a mature adult that um, is refined. <laughs> but no, nah, this one was really good, and it was pretty decent in 4K. I thought. Right, The Hunger Games. This one's really nice. I, I like this one in 4K as well. Catching Fire. Another good release. Mockingjay Part 1. Really good. Mockingjay Part 2. Alright. Now we're going to get to one here that, that really surprised me. That's Deepwater Horizon. Um, this will surprise me just for the simple fact that um, it didn't... There was something about it that just didn't click uh, in, in the 4K format. Um, so much so that there was even a scene, and this is, I, I made note of it, that there was a scene, um, where, you know, there's fire in the water and all that stuff because of the oil spill. Um, and in the 4K version, you actually get a glimpse of part of a green screen. 
and so somewhere somebody messed up uh, maybe during the transfer or during the production of the 4k release that you spot a green screen in there somewhere um, I double checked on the blu-ray itself that scene is not present in the blu-ray so th this is where I'm what I mean that that you know sometimes the 4k releases they, 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 I feel like they're they're like still experimenting still testing out uh, certain certain things so it, that's very odd but that that release specifically really like I was like whoa okay um, all right Jason Bourne fantastic action movie to see in 4k great allied um this one was good just because they did have a lot of effects in it uh especially like towards the end uh you know the big uh like war type scenes this one's really good to see in 4k as well um not not the best but um uh, not bad either yeah. arrival really good movie um and uh really good to see in 4k as well i, I thought they did a fantastic job putting this in 4k um yeah Inferno. Um, to me, this one, I didn't see uh, too much of a difference, you know, between this one and the standard Blu-ray. Uh, but good movie. I I don't think I've seen uh, Angels and Demons yet, though, which is the second one in this franchise. But um, yeah, not bad. And it's it, and to top it off, that's a movie that you can just jump into. You don't have you don't even have to see any of the other ones, to be honest. Suicide Squad. Everybody loves Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, th this one, as much as everybody dogs this movie, I didn't think it was that terrible. Um, but uh, looked fantastic in 4K <laughs> and in 3D too. In 3D, it's really fun. Another Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Fantastic movie. Another Suicide Squad in 4K. Right. Fate of the Furious. A uh, great movie to see in 4K. I thought I thought they did a a nice 4K release with this. You know, lots of action. The Accountant, really good. Lots of action. Looked really sharp. Really nice in 4K. Harry Potter, and the Deathly Shallow, uh, Deathly Hollow. Sorry, Part Two. I'm still thinking of the Shallows. Uh, <laughs> Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part One. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Um, it was very odd that they released uh, the last four on 4K uh, ahead of, of the the other ones, the first the first four. Um, but either way, they look fantastic. I, I thought they did a fantastic job. It was just very odd that they, that they chose to, to put the last four out first. Uh, the first four are so supposed to be coming out, I believe, later this month or in early November. Something like that. Kong Skull Island, standard uh, 4K release. Really good in 4K. Dread. Love this movie, period. Looks great in 4K. Uh, and then I will say that, that one thing uh, that they failed to mention is that this one does come with a 3D copy as well. So it doesn't say it up there, but it does come with a 3D copy. The Mummy, a fun movie, um, not the best. I, I feel like it could have been way better, but um, not bad. It, it looks great in 4K. I I I look at the details of, of uh, the Mummy herself, and I thought that was very impressive. Uh, looks good. Blade Runner, Final Cut, fantastic, fantastic in 4K. Uh, very surprising uh, how uh, how fantastic it looked. Uh, there are certain instances, though, where you can see where certain scenes were maybe, um, I guess, enhanced a little bit more. And then they cut to another scene, and then you can kind of see where it's been, you know, it's just standard, uh, no, I don't want to say standard footage, but uh, more, uh, I guess, of the older older footage that they've used. All right. Snitch. Uh, pretty decent uh Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne Johnson movie, not not my favorite though. And last but not least, Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. This is a pretty fun action movie. Tom Cruise again. I've stated it so many times. Tom Cruise movies are it's not all of them are the best, but they're pretty fun and entertaining. He does a lot of running. 
So yeah, um, and then I the thing with with these is that I, I have uh, with these collection videos I always have more stuff coming. So I'll probably end up having to do an updated one maybe in another, another couple of months. But that's it. That's my whole 4K collection. Uh, again, like I said, it's a lot more than I, than I even realized that I had, uh, but not nearly as much as there is out there already. Like I said, there's probably about 200 titles out there. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit that like button if you guys dug any of these titles. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I have more videos coming. Uh, there is going to be a Blu-ray collection update very soon, probably tomorrow. Don't quote me on that, but probably tomorrow. And then I'm going to start the full collection. I know I've been saying that, but uh, I was trying to get some of these other collection videos out first before I do the, the absolutely full one. Um, and my wife has uh, already kind of threatened me to uh, hurry up and get all the movies back on the shelves. So <laughs> that one will be coming very soon. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And with all that being said, we will catch you next time.